got to Stanley, Idaho, where we're going to be exploring the Sawtooth Mountains for the next few days. Uh, we're camping the next couple nights. Tonight we're staying at Sunny Gulch Campground. It was the first come first serve, so we were able to snag a spot. So tonight we are going to set up camp, make dinner, find a good sunset spot, and then tomorrow morning we are going to hit the trails. Got a long hike. So we're getting ready to make dinner. Tonight we're doing tacos. We just made our, our one pan for tonight. Yeah, we have all of our uh, cooking gear all the way back in this drawer. So, um, I think it, we'll use our, our used pan, I think. Our we're trying life. to burn some of the coal off from when we did it with the fire last time. <laughs> we got our cooler with all our good stuff. What you doing, sweetie? I'm just cutting up the onion for tacos tonight. We. We're playing it super uh, chill our first night of our five months on the road and we're just making tacos. <laughs> Yummy. We're using our GSI um, camping like cutting knives and oh my god I think this knife is like literally better than the ones that we have in our house. <laughs> They're so sharp. Cheers. <laughs> How is it? Delicious. So we just got to Redfish Lake. We're watching the sunset. We still have a decent amount of time, but it was close to our campground and wanted to come see. We had a great night's rest in the tent last night. It was a little chilly. Now Caleb. Time for coffee. Yeah, he's making his morning coffee. Gonna make some eggs for breakfast and then hit the road to go on a hike. We are about to start a hike to Satu Lake. It's a little drizzly, a little overcast. Yes. Hopefully the rain holds off because we don't have rain jackets with us. Yeah. Um, we got a much later start than we wanted to today, but that's okay. Uh, should be a good day for a hike. Well, it's been sprinkling on and off for our hike, but it just started raining pretty bad. So we're hiding out under a tree. <laughs> that 360 views all around us. Quite beautiful. Also, we think that we are not going to do all the way to Sawtooth Lake. We, it's been raining off and on the entire hike, um, so we're pretty damp and it's also getting snowier um, on the trail. And uh, a few people that we passed that hiked all the way up to Sawtooth, they said that they actually thought this lake was prettier. We'll just stay here. Yeah, it's still like eight miles, about eight miles round trip, so we're only cutting off like the last like probably about a mile. So. Just got to Alpine Lake, eating some snacks with some great views. So even with the bad, kind of bad weather, rainy, cloudy, it was still a beautiful hike. About to hike back down, it should take about two hours. Yes, we have about four miles back down, and then hopefully it won't be raining anymore. Night two, we are still at Sunny Gulch Campground, but we uh, changed camp sites. So we have a river front property. Uh, just kidding, river front campsite. The river runs here. We have a little path, you can kind of hear it. But it is unfortunately raining tonight. It's been kind of raining all day. Um, we're gonna put out the awning as extra covering. covering, extra covering for us to sit underneath. You can hardly see the mountains in the background because the rain is really bad over there, so we think it's about to get worse. 
We also added this annex room to the side of our tent. Um, we haven't finished installing the floor or anything, but basically it just comes down and can make this feel more like inside of a tent. Um, it has little doors and flaps that open to have it be screened in, but it's kind of like privacy, but also for us, for the rain, it just gives us some more dry to kind of like change and just get settled before getting in and out of the tent. Spending the rest of the night reading and hanging out under our awning. Just hanging in the rain. Yeah. It's uh, not been the best weather today. Um, no sunset viewing tonight, especially because you can't even see the mountains, but grateful for our setup. It has been absolutely pouring rain all night, all morning. So we're having a really slow morning because there's not really anything you can do. Still can't see the mountains. Caleb, are you in there? <laughs> so we're just reading in the tent because it's also 40 degrees outside. So it's freezing cold and hopefully it clears because today's weather was much worse than yesterday. So we are making breakfast under our awning today because it is still raining. Hours and hours. It's also like 40 degrees, so it's freezing. But we got hungry enough, we couldn't wait any longer, so we made our little makeshift kitchen underneath the awning. And it is so cold that our propane tank is literally freezing because of the condensation and using it to cook. But hopefully it will clear up and we'll have a fun day. Let's hope. The sun finally came out. We're so excited! It's quite a beautiful day. Look at the blue sky. So you can see the mountains now. They look way better in person. Drying out all the gear, trying to get everything dry before we pack it up and head out for the day. So there is a little river by our campsite with a path down to it. But since it's been raining the last 24 hours straight, it's finally clear. Um, we are just now going down to explore it. Just out of the river. Enjoy the, the sound. <laughs> we are super excited that the sun came out. Day. We are just going to go on a nice little shorter hike today, um, about four and a half miles. Um, it's called Fish Hook Creek Trail and we are about a hundred steps in and we are already crossing <laughs> a small creek. Um, I think that has to do with the absurd amount of rains that we've been getting this weekend. Yeah. But it should be a nice trail. So for all the trails that we've gone on in the Stanley Sawtooth area, you have to register and get a permit. Yeah, we think the um, Sawtooth Wilderness is just like a requirement for even if you're not back. Like yesterday we had one hanging on our back, but today we're just finding this whole thing, but it's free. Quite beautiful vista. The deer up in the woods. Right there. We made it to the end. Super beautiful. Great view of the range. On. So the trail was a pretty easy, like very family friendly, like low key hike, but the views were stunning. Very beautiful. Yeah, like I feel like we thought the end of this trail was almost prettier, prettier. than the end view of the one we did yesterday. Um, but obviously the trail we did yesterday, like there was beautiful views along the whole way. Um, but definitely recommend, especially yep. if you're not big into hiking too. I feel like it's a very nice and easy stroll. Beginner stroll. Fish Lodge, walking around. We just decided to come explore this area after our hike. They have a little general store, restaurant, and they had some people a few minutes ago warming up for live music. Um, there's a bunch of boats out there, you can rent bikes, but it's a super cute little area. <laughs> Good morning, found some ice cream. I've been wanting ice cream all weekend. Start some live music, and this is the view. Water is super blue and super pretty today, but it's a pretty chilly day. No one is swimming. 
Cooking dinner tonight at Stanley Lake. Oh, frosty. Caleb <laughs> looks like an Eskimo. But we have some incredible views while we make dinner, which is one of our favorite things about camping and cooking on the road. We just got started though. Looking yummy. Great fast. It's cold quickly. <laughs> It really does. If you don't eat fast, then it gets cold in about three seconds. <laughs> How is it? It's yummy, delicious, just like home. <laughs> So last night um, was actually in the 20s and supposedly supposed to snow is what our campsite host told us. So we ended up booking an Airbnb in Sun Valley area. Uh, just play it safe because we don't really have the gear to be camping in below freezing temps and it was already freezing this weekend and really rainy. So instead of driving all the way back up to Stanley to do some of the hikes in that area because there's a ton of hikes that we didn't get to do which I can put um, in the description below, uh, we decided to do a hike near Sun Valley. Hey, we are doing Proctor Mountain Trail, uh, which is right in like Ketchum Sun Valley area. We've got a lot of wildflowers in bloom right now. So it's very colorful and lush. That should be super pretty. It's a pretty easy trail. It's about five miles, thousand elevation gain. Uh, but it is a beautiful day. the world's first chairlift was here to the little mountain we're hiking to. And a piece of uh, ski history. Yeah, we had we had no idea. We were just uh, thinking this was a pretty hike. Well, I'm not sure where it is. <laughs> Kayla was looking around and said, where is it? I don't, I don't see where it is, so. trail. <laughs> Look at the vista, baby. 